Today, we gather as a junior class to receive our class rings or Ignatius medals, which will serve to remind us and mission us into greater leadership at Fairfield Prep. As underclassmen, we received many traditions so vital to what it means to be a prep student. Now, as upperclassmen, we take on that responsibility to hand on those traditions that make prep such a special school. Loving and gracious Father, we pray for all the members of the junior class as they receive their class rings and Ignatius medals. A moment to recognize how far they have come in their prep career. A moment to look ahead to the capstone year of their prep journey. We pray that you bless them abundantly. Help them to grow ever more closely together as a community of brothers, united in faith, hope, and fraternal charity. When those who are promoted to leadership are often given a ring or a medal, it's a sign of the confidence and trust that the king had in that individual's ability to not only represent the goodwill of the kingdom, but also to lead others. That's what we come to celebrate today, to celebrate the values of Fairfield Prep and Ignatian education, to send you forth the leaders of Prep. And so I congratulate you today, and I ask Owen to return to the podium as we continue uh, our missioning uh, of this class uh, and your new role as leaders. Again, congratulations. Many of you probably don't know this, but St. Ignatius was actually only five feet and two inches tall. <laughs> to put that in perspective, that means he came to barely my shoulder. And he was considered tall for his time, too. However, even at my height, almost a foot taller than St. Ignatius, I find myself looking up to him in the example that he set during his life. While some suggest that the prayer for generosity is not the work of St. Ignatius himself, the prayer expresses the commitment to imitate Christ that Ignatius has held his entire life. I know that all of us in this room know the prayer by heart, as not only did many of us learn it as freshmen, but we often prayed together as a school community. In the prayer itself, we can find many ways to be generous, just like St. Ignatius was. In the prayer for generosity, we are called to serve as God deserves. As prep students, every single one of us does community service. However, we have gotten to a point where we no longer just do go through the motions or do it for the hours, but to a point where we actually care about the people that we're serving. We are called to give and not count the cost. We are called to labor and not to ask for reward. At prep, this means that we should academically work hard without the concern of how it will impact our grade, but focus on how it will help us grow as students and as people. Through these many actions, we can rest assured that we are doing God's will. We are now on the path to join the 13,821 prep graduates that came before us. Pope Francis challenged the young people at World Youth Day in Brazil saying, Put on Christ and your life will be full of his love. It will be a fruitful life. The measure of the greatness of a society is found in the way it treats those most in need, those who have nothing apart from their poverty. Be the first to seek to bring good, do not grow accustomed to evil, but to feed it. May we accept that challenge and continue the great traditions of faithful prep at the class of 2019 by being men of competence, compassion, and character, men for others. Lord God, your spirit of wisdom fills the earth and teaches us your ways. Look upon these members of the class of 2019. Let them enjoy their learning and take delight in new discoveries. Help them to persevere in their studies and give them the desire to learn all things well. Help them to become leaders and example of Christian charity. Let them strive to share the knowledge and experience with gentle patience that endeavor always to witness to your love. Grant these members of the class of 2019 that they may follow Jesus Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, forever and ever. Amen.